Bad. And joining us right now in studio, we have Barry Ansley with Festival Acadiana Creole. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Y'all are continuing your legacy series in the new year. Yes. Who do you have tonight? Uh, we have uh, a, a, a true icon of Cajun uh, music, uh, D.L. Menard, whose uh, 1962 recording of La Porta Naria, The Back Door, changed everything. How did it change everything? Uh, well, it, it became it became a, a signature song not only for him but for the entire culture. You, if you uh, take a look at any of the younger uh, musicians today, or well, for the last 40, 50 years, who have been uh, learning to play Cajun music, it's, it's almost always the first song they learn. It became that big since 1962. Uh, Floyd Swallow at Swallow Records tells me that it's sold over 500,000 copies. Wow. Yes, <laughs> a true icon. Uh, Rolling Stone magazine listed it uh, at, at number 72 on its greatest country songs of all time. That's incredible. And, for, it's, in, for and it's in French. Really? Yeah. And I think that's truly incredible to see yeah. how yeah. local musicians here kind of shape the culture exactly. of, of music in this and, area. And D.L. became even more than that. He became an ambassador. He was invited on, uh, he, he performed a number of times at the National Folk Festival, the Smithsonian Festival, all festivals all over the country. But uh, eventually in the 90s, he, became, he was invited uh, on several State Department tours, uh, Central and South America, wow. uh, Asia, the Near East. So he, he has like a global impact. This guy was really, really serious. And he's from Erath, Louisiana. Uh, produced uh, uh, not only that song, but a lot of classics. And we're going to be talking about that. Uh, uh, the, the band that he played with uh, toward the end of his life, uh, Jambalaya, Terry Huval and Reggie Mott are going to be there. And Luke Huval. His, oh, wow. uh, DL's son Larry is going to be there talk about family stories. And the thing about DL was it wasn't just his music. Mm-hmm. He was an amazing character. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you, if you come tonight, you will laugh. It's going to be like a stand-up comedy routine because there were so many hilarious stories about the way DL dealt with life. I love that you guys put on these legacy series for people to learn about legends in, yeah. in music here. If people uh, at home want to go tonight, what's the time and location? 7 o'clock at Feed and Seed, uh, right near the underpass, uh, at downtown Lafayette. Uh, admission's free. We, uh, we appreciate any support you, uh, that anybody's willing to give, but uh, we're, we're just th doing this to celebrate our treasures. I love that you guys do this in the community. Barry, thank you so much for thank coming you. on to share this with our viewers tonight. If you guys want to learn more, head to our website, klaf.com. Everything you need is going to be right there. But don't go anywhere.